Welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is how do I stop being so dependent on my partner in my relationships? Well, this is a question that I really like because sometimes we don't know that we are counting on our partner for a lot of things. So if you can actually own that, you get that you're doing that, that is something that you can work on. The trouble with being dependent on somebody is that you don't have your own voice. You're giving way too much to your partner for them to make all the decisions, be the one that suggests everything about where you go for the weekend, whatever you do in your life, how you run your household, what you do with your kids. All these things are great if you can compromise on them. But if you are dependent on your partner to make your life happen for you, it ends up being very boring. And not only for yourself, because you're sitting there just doing everything they want, it's boring for your partner because you don't have any say in anything. You're just going along robotically to be there for them and just keep everything peaceful and calm. And you're so accommodating all the time that they, you think this is great. You're not causing friction, you're not causing drama. But the problem is you're not contributing. And part of the reason that you're probably doing this is there's something that's stuck in you from maybe a situation that happened a long time ago, maybe from how you were raised, maybe your parents were this, this way and you're just sort of following suit because it's what you know. But what you know isn't always good because you still need to learn how to be your own person, how to be independent have your own goals, your own aspirations. You're not relying on anyone to make your life happen for you. So the fact that you said in my relationships, plural, means that you're doing this quite often. And so there's something inside of you that doesn't feel whole. And so when you don't feel complete as a person, you look for other people to make you feel that way. And if this is a continued practice, you're not learning how to be the person that you need to learn how to be because you're relying on someone else to do it for you. So what happens is you're always in lopsided relationships and after a while it takes a toll because you're sitting there saying to yourself, wow, here I go again, same scenario, different person. It's really, really important to learn how to be by yourself, know who you are, when you're by yourself, not in a relationship, not dating, just who you are by yourself when you stand alone. And a lot of people don't know this. And so what happens is they bring in people into their life that give them more than they have themselves. Now, I've said this on probably 50 videos, but you need to be with somebody who's an extension of who you already are. They're not who you are. And this is happening a lot because people just like it when someone takes care of them. But it doesn't work out long term because your partner gets frustrated because they're not getting much back from you. They're just getting, yes, okay, all right, let's do that. No problem. There's no sort of excitement. It's just always a re repetitive situation. You need to have some ups and downs and, and mountains and valleys in, in your partnership because it keeps it fun. It keeps a mystery. It keeps it playful and all the things that a partnership needs to be. I think a, a lot of the times when relationships end up not working out is because we're not choosing the right person that we fit with. We're choosing people to make us feel better a lot of the times. But that's way too much pressure put on your partner. And also, it doesn't help you grow. It doesn't make you the better version of, of yourself because we all evolve. Like every seven years, we evolve to different things in our life, our body changes, all sorts of stuff happens. And you have to sort of be able to adapt to that. So being independent is a good thing because you're not relying on your partner to be your entire life. The reason I think that maybe you are dependent all the time on people is because you've allowed yourself to be 
in that role where you're not as out there. You let them rule the roost. You let your partner take charge of everything and then you don't have to work too hard. You just follow along. That's not fun. It's not the way to, as I said earlier, evolve as a person. And if you don't evolve in your relationship, within your own individual personalities, your relationship just stays stagnant. It doesn't grow. And you want to be able to grow with it. And this is what I feel that people are making mistakes in their partnerships and why they're not standing the test of time. Because people don't put the same energy into being who they are and working together as a couple as well. That's what's missing in a lot of long-term partnerships. So if you want to learn how to be more independent, start doing things. Get out, see friends a couple of days a week or even once a week to start. Start calling your friends up, going for a, a beer or a coffee or a walk or some sporting event. Do something like that. Take a course. If, if you can't think of anything else because you're friends, you don't have your friends anymore, take a course, meet some new people. Take time away from your partner so they can breathe, you can breathe, and when you come back together, you've got things to talk about. You've got fun things to talk about. It's not the same old dialogue day in and day out about what your partner wants. Because I'm telling you right now, they're gonna get bored because it's great to have somebody, oh yeah, be there for you all the time and do everything. But after a while, you still want a bit of that, you know, playful challenge in a relationship. And you want your partner to evolve and to grow. Anyway, long drawn out story on that one, but I just wanted to point that out there because there is a lot of this going on. Never lose your identity. Always be true to who you are at the core. And your partner will love you for it and you'll love your partner even more because they love who you are. Anyway, thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe to my channel. Any comments you have, please leave them below. I always answer you back. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Take care. Bye.